So I've always been a skinny guy. And honestly, it didn't really bother me too much, like at all, really. You know, sometimes people called me stick, stick figure or whatever, but never really bothered me. And uh, I was pretty fine with the way I looked. But then I discovered uh, self-improvement, you know what I'm saying? And more specifically, Hamza. And Hamza explained that on self-improvement, you want to build an aesthetic physique in which you obtain muscles and 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 you prioritize certain muscles and you build a physique that is inherently attractive to women and as well gets you respect from men. So I was like, all right, you know, sign me up. Self-improvement, I got this, you know what I'm saying? So I started hitting the gym and all that. And um, I was still skinny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was still skinny because I wasn't eating enough. You know, part of of getting muscle is indeed bulking. So for the first about eight months, of exercising and working out, I didn't really see too, too, too many visual changes. Now, again, this didn't really bother me too much because one, I, I enjoyed lifting and it was fun. And two, like I said, I didn't really care too much about my, my, uh, my looks, my physique. So it wasn't like really, I didn't really feel bad for being small, but I realized, you know, I had to start taking it seriously. So I started to eat more food and then very quickly I started to gain a lot a good amount of muscle. So I was pretty happy about that. But, you know, it was kind of inconsistent. And I kept having to be like, it started, it came to the point where, you know, not eating enough or, or not getting enough sleep became my limiting factor in my training because I wasn't able to, it, just, it made it harder for me to progress in my training. So that's what I've been doing in the past, like the recent month, I've been just been focusing on my diet and, and, um, and sleep because I was focusing so much on on the training before watching training videos, form videos, uh, workout splits, all these things, learning all these exercises. But now it's time to now I know enough, you know what I mean, and I know what training split I'm doing, and I'm committed committed to that. So now I really have to focus on my diet and sleep because really that's the foundation to my training. And if I keep on being inconsistent with my diet and training, my diet and my sleep, it's going to mess up my training because, you know, diet and sleep is like your foundation for training, you know, so you can't mess up your foundation or it's going to be the whole tower is going to fall down, you know? So yeah. And with my diet, as, as you know, I'm bulking, right? I, uh, I was struggling because I've always been a skinny dude and I'm, it's not in my like physiology or, or like habits to eat a lot of food, you know? So I just, I just wouldn't be eating. Like I would just eat like one meal and just be done for the day. But it's like, all right, I got to take this seriously. I want to make more progress. So I got to start hitting my calorie goals. I started tracking with my fitness pal. And um, for the past week, I've been doing really good, like very consistent, reaching all my goals, felt very good. In addition, I uh, have a little accountability group, group chat with DD62 and Medster from, the, uh, from my Discord server. And uh, we're we're bulking together, so we're we're making some good progress. And uh, being in that accountability group kind of got me to um, to really focus on on bulking, because before I was like, oh, I should be bulking, but you know, I'll just you know I let it slide for this day, and I let it slide for like the whole week, and I just kind of like don't really bulk at all. And it's like, oh, I should be doing this, I should be doing this, but I'm not doing it right. But because I'm in the accountability group, I was like, all right, bulking is my weak point. I want to focus on this, and every day I'm checking into that that group chat and I'm like, all right, I want to, I got to post my progress here. So I'll let them know I, I didn't really succeed today, but I, I'm going to do better tomorrow. Right. So because I was consistently checking up with these guys and I was able to kind of like actually push myself to, to not be lazy and, and figure out how to actually bulk. Right. So I started eating a lot more food, you know, and, um, it's been pretty good hitting my calorie goals, but my family started getting upset, you know, cause I was eating all the food in the house. Because the thing is, you know, your family is making, well, my family has four people in it. And, uh, you know, they're, my, my parents are preparing food for four people, you know. But if I'm bulking, then that's extra food. And if I eat extra food, then that takes away from the food that was meant for four people, you know. So it just doesn't work anymore. And then now they're getting upset at me. So even though I kind of achieved my goal of, of being more consistent with, with bulking, you know, it's actually cause more other problems in my other areas of my life. And it's because still I'm not bulking the proper way because I'm just eating food that my parents 
have and bought and prepared for me. But what I should be doing is I should be either asking them to to buy like certain foods for me that like I can eat or they I should be, you know, just buying buying more food for for me to eat as well, you know. Not just eating the food that they prepare for the whole family, you know. So yeah, I got to work on that. <laughs> That's still yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny I got to work on that and in addition, I got to work on my healthfulness cuz I cuz I think I'm eat, I'm eating like relatively clean but I'm not eating like clean. <laughs> That's not a good way to describe it. I'm eating I'm not eating so many processed foods, but you know, I'll just say I'm eating unhealthy. I'm not eating junk food. I'm just eating like regular food, but I know that I'm not getting my nutrients. I know my yeah, I'm not getting like a good variety of food. Like today I ate four eggs, four servings of white rice and one avocado and like one meal. And then my my dad's looking at me like, "Man, you're greedy, man. Like what are you doing? Like this is these eggs are supposed to, are supposed to be for the whole family." You know? And instead, right? I I should just eat like two eggs and then like one cup of rice and then like half an avocado and then have a, like another meal to get the same amount of calories, but it's like different foods and then I get more nutrients, it's more healthy, you know, things like that. So I'm still trying to figure out this bulking thing. Try to figure out this diet, and honestly, I just need I just need education. Honestly, I just need to figure out like uh, all these vitamins and and minerals and ma- micro macronutrients. It all doesn't really mean much to me right now. It's all a bunch of like words. But as I'm as I start watching more videos and things like that, I'm sure I'll figure it out. So yeah, gotta stay educated.